Hey everybody, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to adjust my camera just a little bit. Um, I told you this the other day, I moved my camera holder, and I can't seem to find my sweet spot. This will have to do. I've got some interesting things to share with you today. So, the new Graphic 45 collections have arrived, and they arrived earlier than we anticipated. We didn't think they'd be here for another two weeks. This is Graphic 45's fall collection, and I... I love it. Graphic 45 hit it out of the park with this collection. Um, the collection is called Hello Pumpkin. And the collection uh, contains a 12 by 12 collection pack with stickers, a 12 by 12 patterns and solids, the 8 by 8 collection pack, um, die cuts, and die cut flowers, and a stamp set. So that's what the collection entails. And if you get a bundle from us, you get all this plus... Uh, coordinating um, charms and um, filigree as well as um, ribbon, nice ribbon that'll coordinate. In fact, I was over at Julie's house yesterday um, going through the ribbon and picking uh, what we thought would work best with this collection and the one I'm going to show you right after this. So I'm, I'm really, I really love this collection. Of course, uh, at the moment, there's just a couple of designers, myself, and I'm a constant, right? And then we've got um, another designer working with us. So we're both sort of vying to get this collection in our hands. I really think Graphic did a great job on this. So let's go ahead and go through it in detail. So, I mean, I just love it. Um, usually their fall collection is um, more geared toward Halloween. So I like this one. It's more of a seasonal um, fall release. So the colors in person are much, much more vibrant than I thought they were the yellow is very bright here, but when I saw the actual printed papers, um, they're richer and more vibrant than they looked online. <clears throat> it's just gorgeous. This is a really pretty orange. And even this, it's like a plum. It's really pretty. You guys are going to love it. So there we go. Fall is in the air. And we've got this beautiful plaid on the back side. So this is the collection pack I'm going through. Of course, everything you see here also comes in the 8x8 size. So you get two of each pattern. This is a nice background. Oh, and then we got this delicious background. Look how pretty. Ah. And then we've got these cut aparts, which I love. I'm, I'm still hoping at some point they'll go back to having their traditional ephemera cards. And I'm like, just sell them in a two sheet pack. I'll cut them apart. They don't have to be cut apart. <laughs> I like them for car toppers and I really like to use these elements um, as features in the design on a page. But oh look, the backside is a regular ephemera card. So that's good. I think the last time they did this, the backside was a print. Don't quote me. It could have been a DCE, which is always on a DCE. The cut aparts have a, a pattern on the back, not a traditional journal. So look at this green. Oh, it's so lovely. So lovely. Okay. You guys, I know you're going to agree with me. This one has been wildly popular. No surprise. Um, so if you go to the website and we're out of stock, we've already put, we've already reordered it. So we started shipping um, today and um, we'll have more of this back in stock um, we, I think maybe mid next week. So go ahead and click the button that you get notified when it's back in stock. So um, you can get yours uh, as soon as it comes back in. I think what's going to happen is we're going to wind up ordering this one three times. So if you don't get in on the, on the, if you haven't gotten in on the pre-orders, make sure you hit that notification so you'll know when to come back and order or you can just keep checking. Look at that. Hmm. Isn't that lovely? Oh my goodness. Like I said, we're all kind of vying to work on this one. I kind of hope Carla Sweet gets it. She does such nice, nice work. And then there's our sticker sheet. So it's kind of nice. It's a little bit more matte than they used to be. They used to be kind of glossy. And I, I, I like it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the gloss per se. So it's pretty traditional. Now it used to be that graphics split these in two. Um, now it's just one 12 by 12 sheet of stickers. Okay, that all comes in the 12 by 12 collection pack. Now let's go ahead and take a, a look at our, um, our backgrounds, which is upside down. So I'm gonna flip this over and start. So now in the backgrounds you get three, nope, two of each print. 
Okay, so there's our pumpkin sheet. It's another pumpkin sheet. Oh, I can smell. This is nice. A lot of times I'll have a small print in the background. This one, it doesn't. It looks more like a watercolor wash. Okay, and then you get more of that. So you get a total of four of this background, but two different prints. <clears throat> this is, um, I'm gonna put something very red next to it, which is my coffee cup. So you can see this is um, kind of a rustic red, which I like. Makes it look uh, a little bit more vintage. Well, I think it's even more obvious here. It's a nice, nice print. And then here comes our purple. Got two of the pumpkins, two of the plaids. Got our green. I've, this was uh, this is a kind of a common pattern that they have in the fall where they use the diamonds and then put something different inside. And more of the dots. Lovely. Okay, so that's graphic 45. Hello, pumpkin. If you haven't ordered yours yet, get online and order it. And if it says we're out of stock, put it, put, uh, click on um, notify me when they're back in stock. And like I said, by the middle of next week, we should have more. So that's the collection pack in the background. It also comes in eight by eight. And then here are the flowers. So you get a pack of that if you get the, um, the bundle. And I think the cut aparts are super cute. Sometimes I'm not a fan of the cut aparts in this particular collection. I really like all of them. I, I wish they had more leaves. I really like the leaves. And then of course you can make your own leaves because the stamp collection has, you know, the, the three leaves. Four if you count these and if you mask the pumpkin. So you can create more of uh, any one of those leaves that you see in the collection. So the next one for graphic 45 is Christmas. They always do well with the Christmas collections. It's very traditional red and green, which I like. Um, one time they strayed away from that. and I mean, it was okay, but I like a traditional um, Christmas collection, red and green. So here's the 8x8. We're going to take a look in detail at the 12x12. 12 12, and we'll start with the collection pack. I'm going to scoot that over so we can see both. So there is the cover. And as you can see, the colors are not that tight with the, um, the cover sheet. I actually like this better, just like I did on the last one. It's a little bit deeper and richer, which, of course, they're famous for. Beautiful little stamps. Get two of each of the patterns. That's so Christmas, isn't it? Got some holly here. Stripes. I love a good stripe. If I do this one, I'm going to do it in a larger format. Probably 8 by 10 Just saying. I can, uh, I can see a lot with that. That's really pretty. And that's very traditional Santa right there. That jolly old face. Got a couple two fronds. Stripes on the back. Merry Christmas. This looks really pretty. Some of these uh, make for great little cut aparts to add features on your cards or your mini albums. This is lovely. I love stamps. They add a lot. These are pretty. You can see these on cards and in the mini album. Okay, here's some more cut aparts. Now these are the traditional journal uh, on the back side. Look how I see. Sometimes I actually like the back side of the journal cards better um, than the front, only because I can see where, you know, like put a picture right there, right? Put a picture right here. And then over here, you, you just can't do anything with it. It is what it is. It's its own feature. Okay, that's it for the 12 by 12 collection. Awesome. I'm loving it. And then, of course, there's your stamps. These make fun little tabs on pullouts. These two, perfect size. There's a, a file tab. Really pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, now let's look at the patterns and solids. Okay. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I hope that hasn't been in your field of vision the whole time. I just looked up and saw it. This is pretty. Candy cane stripes. Oh, I like this. That's pretty cool. I wish other collections would do more of a pattern uh, and solid for their collections because it makes it so easy to layer. Um, and they're starting to do something like it. They're calling it backgrounds, and that usually just means the scale of everything is smaller. But then I still haven't introduced the concept of like a solid, um, which you know really goes a long way to helping you layer in um, in your project, whether it's a card or an album. I like the simple stripe, two colors, easy to work with. This is uh, their gold. Um, it's very consistent with other collections that I've seen them release with the gold. So you might have some backgrounds that you can pull in from other collections that you may have left over. And the other thing I want to make note of here too is this is much more like a wash. There is no pattern in the background. A lot of times you'll see a very faint pattern of um, like a Baroque um pattern in the background. This is more like a wash, so it's not specific to the collection and could be used anywhere. Can't tell it's a Christmas, for example. So that is the 12 by 12 um, patterns and solids and the collection pack. And now I'll show you the die cuts. Here's the die cuts. These are pretty too. And that's pretty. And hopefully you can see that. Sometimes the glare is difficult, but I don't like opening them because I've been known to actually lose pieces. And then um, it's basically the same flowers, the same shaped flowers as the other collection, as the um, Hello Pumpkin collection, different colors. So, and then lastly, look, they got an assortment of um, these nice little... Uh, snowflakes, as well as, you know, some traditional stamps. And these really would stand on their own too. They don't have to go with the graphic collection. You could do a lot of cards with these. So there you go. There's the backside. Get a better look at it. That is Graphic 45's latest release. They're here. They're shipping now. If you go to buy this and you don't find it, um, it'll be back in stock shortly. And let me pull back in... There is the Christmas collection, and I'm going to set aside the little bits and the fall collection, and we're shipping now. So thanks for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Stay tuned. I've got a new release from Stamperia coming next.